I have directors Don Hardy, Camille Serban Schreiber, and producer Sean Daly with me today to talk about their new docu-series, Away Home, premiering on Amazon, iTunes, and other digital platforms beginning December 4th. Thank you all for joining me today. I really appreciate it. You know, it's, it's interesting. Homelessness is an issue that's been an issue for quite some time, and it really does affect every community, both large and small. And I think it's an ever increasing one, especially as we're probably going to see a lot of fallout from whatever, everything that's happening with COVID. Um, but your story takes place as you depict um, homelessness in the California area. Don, I'm gonna begin with you because I have interviewed you before for Bat Kid Begins and Pick of the Litter um, with Dana Nachman. Now with your documentaries, or at least the ones that I've seen in this docu-series, it's actually an uplifting one. This is an overwhelming and da daunting problem, but you actually have a few solutions. Can you share with our viewers why you wanted to tell this story? Yeah, well, thank you, Anne. It's nice to be talking with you again. Um, the The idea for this series came about um, is something that confronts us every day. I mean, homelessness is everywhere. We see it uh, mo minutes from our our houses out here in California. We're um, we're confronted with it, and so when we set out to tell this these stories, we wanted to offer solutions uh, because there are a lot of people out there doing great work to try to find new housing solutions for people who are homeless. And we also wanted to really find a way to have uh, the faces of the people that are homeless take center stage and their stories and to humanize them in a way that maybe they haven't been before. You know, our, our series, actually, uh, we were approached by Kaiser Permanente and they've been a huge supporter of the production of the series. And they, we, we, we got connected and looked into a number of organizations around California and Bax was one of them that really struck us as, as doing incredible work. And when we started working on the series, they had just launched this very bold initiative, which was to house 500 um, homeless seniors. So people over 50 with, uh, with some um, physical um, uh, difficulties. Um, Sean, maybe you can talk about that a little bit about um, how your film Away Home sheds light onto this unique and rising situation. Well, I think it, it the main thing it did for me as a person, and I hope to, for it does for viewers, is to humanize people, you know, because a lot of, t anyone can get off the freeway and you see someone with a sign and, you know, your, your natural reaction is to either look away if you can't help them or to judge them or whatever. Doing this project, we've really humanized people and show you the way they where they come from. And I think you know some. I can't remember which one of the, the folks from our, our series said this. I asked them, you know, what, what what could you change if you change anything? I said I just want people to look me in the eye when I see them to feel like a human again. And I remember I'm not a easily broken person, and that just got me. I had to like go around the corner a little bit. It is incredible as you're watching the. Um, I watched four parts of it and thinking about how I have reacted walking down Michigan Avenue or under one of the Lakeshore Drive bridges and seeing the tents underneath. And you, you avert your gaze, you don't want to look. And it really made me think about my own behavior and how you know, my perception of these people um, maybe should be changing. Um, Don, one of the quotes that kind of struck me, and I want to get your take on this, or maybe you've got something within the film that really affected you, is one of the caseworkers um, who was homeless and is now working with all of this, this program, she said, we need to invest in others, and quotes around that. Yeah, I think that that line was uh, from a woman named Denise Brock, who works down in Bakersfield. And yeah, that really touched all of us as well. This idea that she was homeless, she's experienced it firsthand. And, and that was a, is a pattern we've seen in a lot of the caseworkers and people that are, are, are out there on the front lines. Like they, in many cases, have experienced this themselves. And so for all of us to take away and say, but how can we uh, look for those solutions to this? Is there, uh, it, you know, helping out at a food, uh, food pantry? Is it something like that hands-on or is it giving cash to the to the right uh, nonprofit organizations, people that are out there doing it? Um, I think it all, we need all of these things 
and and people out there to really be thinking about these things, um, especially right now where we're coming through hopefully uh, this pandemic. But we're going to see a lot of things change uh, with rent rents that have been maybe put on hold, other issues like that that are going to start hitting next year. And we see that there could be a real rise in the amount of people on the streets. And thank you for bringing a film that shows human compassion and kindness and generosity in a time that we really need that. So thank you all. And tell us again, yeah. Don, can you remind us where we can see this and when we can see this film? Yeah, the, the first uh, four episodes, so season one of The Way Home premieres on uh, Amazon, Google Play, and uh, iTunes on December 4th. So it'll, it'll all be there the first season, and then we're, we're deep already working on season two, which is kind of a, the COVID year uh, that we've had. Uh, so that'll hopefully be out in the spring. So we're, we're, the work is ongoing, and we just really look forward to sharing these stories with audiences. Fantastic. Camille, Sean, Don, great to see you all and talk with you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it.